Okay, so the purpose of today is to show you how to get open weight linked to your weight bridge indicator and to get those weights transferring automatically. Log into open weight and when you're in, head over to your account preferences. First of all, you need to go to indicator settings and download the service, the IG Python web service that's going to run on your local machine and collect the weight information for you. Once that's done, just open the service and follow through the installation instructions. Once it's finished, you can select Run IG Python service if you want. Once that's done, we now need to configure the service. The standard settings for the service are 2400 board rate, 7 data bits, even parity, and 1 stop bit. Your Weybridge indicator ideally would be set up to run with that. If it's not, then you're going to need to change it. So to change it, all we need to do is go to my computer uh, in, the, in the list, head over to the program files 86, and then go down to the IG Python folder, the h2tp to con, then into the config folder, and then you'll find a settings file. Now you can edit this with something like Notepad. Um, and you can then edit the settings that you're using. Now mine as you can see is set to COM1, my parity is even, my board rate is 2400, my byte size is 7, stop bits are 1, and append line is true, which basically means we're going to append a carriage return and a line feed to the end of each one, so we don't get all the data on one line. So if you're happy with those settings, save them and exit. If you're not, change them to meet the settings of your indicator. We recommend that you stay with the standard settings in OpenWake and change the, change the settings on your Weybridge indicator. They're usually much easier to change and it, it saves then having, if we upgrade the service, it saves then you having to come back in again and change this. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so you've set up the settings in there. Close the file. Close the file. You now need to start the Windows service and configure it. So from the start menu, I'm using Windows 10. You can right click it and you can click on computer management. If you can't find that on yours and you're using say uh, Windows, uh, Windows 7, if you go to control panel and you go to administrative tools, you'll find it in there. And then you'll get exactly the same window as I've got here. So we need to look at our services. So we're going to drill down on the left hand side into services and we're going to scroll down the screen until we see the IG Python service. Um, first thing we're going to do is to make sure that that service is stopped because we need to reload the settings. We're going to look at the properties of that service and we're going to set up the recovery options for it so that if it fails it reboots or if something goes wrong and the computer freezes or crashes as Windows often does then what you, it'll reboot on its own, it'll be back up and running in a couple of seconds and you haven't got to restart your computer. So go to the recovery options and select this first failure, restart the service, second failure restart, subsequent failures restart and then press apply. Once you've done that just make sure that on the main page the startup type now is automatic and you've applied those settings and then you restart the server. Okay, so that's set. Your service is up and running on your local machine. Now we're going to head back over to OpenWay. So we head back over to OpenWay and we need to look at the user that we're using. So here I am now. Here's my user. I need to edit the user and I need to select the indicator that's in the list. So now I'm using um, a Leon 5218, actually I'm using a VT300, but essentially the same indicators, um, and it's on my local machine. So I'm just going to put in here localhost. That means it'll look at the local machine. If you've got your service installed on another machine in your office or on your network and your Weybridge indicator is plugged into that machine, then you just need to put in the IP address of that machine. But you do need to be sure that the machine you've connected the Weybridge indicator to has got its own dedicated IP address. So, okay, let's update the user. There we go. Now, head over to Ticketing. Let's go and test it out. Create a Weybridge ticket, make sure you've got some weight on your Weybridge, and click on Get Weight. There we are, and as if by magic, the weight appears in the ticket for you. That's all there is to link in your Weybridge indicator.